currently self-isolating. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have just woken up as you can probably tell. I'm joined by Marley. If you haven't met Marley, this is my cat. Who in my assumptions video I was going on about because he's just the cutest. Oh look at him, sorry, but you can't tell me he's the cutest. Yes you are. Yes you are. But yeah, I just thought um maybe I might do like a what I oh this is not a good angle, but I'm lazy and can't bother to hold my camera. So I just thought I might do like a white and day or like a little vlog today because quite honestly oh see I've shown him affection and now he's coming over hi hi um but yeah I just thought you, you know it's about time basically um if you haven't caught on or don't know I'm currently self-isolating because okay now you're gonna hang out you gonna hang out okay is that good with you you make you make yourself comfortable I'll wait just let him do his thing but yeah so if you don't know I am self-isolating at the moment because without going into too much detail um because I don't want to like worry anyone um I have been in contact with someone who came back positive with COVID-19 um I have been tested I do not have it however when that happens you get sent like an email message and I got sent one basically saying we're aware that you've been in contact with someone you will need to self-isolate for 14 days and basically even if you test and get it comes back negative you still have to self-isolate um so yeah that's why i'm suddenly having a lot of time i am at home i'm not working because obviously i can't work um they did say so the rest of my households which is just my mum my dad and then tom they don't have to um they don't have to self-isolate or self-isolate from me or anything. They can do what they want, but my parents just made the decision that some social events, they basically called up and just been like, look, Ashton could potentially have it. Like, this was before I got tested. Oh, it's comforting me. But, um, but yeah, so my life's not that eventful at the moment. I literally, like, it's not like lockdown where you can, like, go for one piece of exercise. I can't leave my house which has been hard because I like love the gym and like I want to go for a run I just want to go out and exercise but at the same time like I haven't really been that motivated I've done a few workouts but it's not going to be the same but I'm not going to beat myself up for not doing them properly because you know there's no point and like I leave soon so it's kind of a blessing in disguise because it means I get to spend time with my family before I go off to uni so yeah i'm fine like i'm totally fine i haven't had any meltdowns like it's only two weeks compared to like lockdown um i've kept myself busy doing youtube i've got more into tiktok um tidying my room simple things like that and like getting stuff ready for uni so like i'm absolutely fine but yeah i just thought i might do like a vlog today or like a what I eat in a day, we'll, we'll see what happens, we'll see, maybe we'll blend the two together, but yeah, it is like 10 now, because I was getting up at like 6am, like solidly, for like two weeks, I managed to get myself into that routine, and it just went completely out the window, so yeah, it's 10am, I'm just still in bed, and I'm going to get up now, and I need to really, I don't want to move you now, if you just go up here, is that okay? But yeah, I this I look like a mess. I'm very aware I look like a mess. But you know, I want to be real on this channel. But yeah, like my bed's a mess. So when I have this, that every night the sheet comes undone. Yeah, so I need to like tidy my room and just like get ready. It's my life out. So that's what that's what we're gonna do.
just had an Americano with a bit of almond milk because I'm watching too much Sarah's Day and if you know, you know. Um, but um, yeah, I'm about to do a workout. I normally like to eat breakfast, but I'm just honestly not that hungry. I think it's just where my sleeping patterns change that at the moment I'm getting hungry like just before I go to bed. So then it means when I wake up, I'm not as hungry and I'm really trying to implement implement is that the word? <laughs> I'm really trying to practice um intuitive eating which it sounds really simple it's eat when you're hungry but I think we all know like a lot of the times when you're like dieting or calorie counting you like force yourself not to eat or you're eating because you're like it's lunchtime I'm supposed to eat something but maybe you're not hungry I'm just basically taking away the labels of like breakfast lunch and dinner I obviously roughly base around them and I just eat when I'm hungry and I'm not hungry so oh frick I'm just gonna do a Sarah's Day cardio boxing workout which I did do at the start of last week and I just really enjoyed it got a good sweat on so I'm gonna do it again I've just finished my cardio oh, workout. God, I am sweating. For me though, if I'm not sweating like this, I don't feel like I've probably worked out. Like, I'm a sweaty person anyway. But I can't, I hate going to the gym. Not getting this man. I'm so gross. But yeah, I definitely need a shower now. And then we're gonna have a protein shake, I feel, because I'm starting to get a bit hungry, so yeah. Wow, I look like a ghost. Uh, so as you can tell from my appearance, I've just showered, put on my dressing gown, which is actually my dad's that I stole like three years ago, and now it's mine, because it's just huge and comfy. So yeah, I'm about to make my protein shake, so please excuse the fact that I look like a ghost right now. I am going to be fake tanning afterwards. Um, first, I'm gonna start with 300 milliliters of water. You, I swear. Once you've got the water, I'm gonna chuck in like a few, a few ice cubes. Then I've got like a quarter of a frozen banana because I use all the other frozen bananas in my ice cream recipe I made. So about that much. Then I usually use cacao powder, but I've all run out. And then when mum did the weekly shop, she, um, I asked for cacao, <laughs> but bless her, she, um, I don't know, she read it wrong or something. So I'm going to use this, which, you know, I do prefer cacao because it's, um, like the most nutritionally dense version of chocolate because it's like in its rawest form. But this still works. So we're going to put in some like superfood. So I've got cacao nibs, hemp seeds, and chia seeds, which I literally put in everything because they're great for digestion, good fibre, and then just keep them fill up for longer. So yeah. I definitely sound like I know what I'm talking about. I kind of do. I just watch YouTube videos and find out info. Then, just because I'm trying to use up the protein powders I have, I'm using my chocolate brownie protein powder. Then I put in like a spoonful of Greek yogurt, because it's just good for you, and fills it up, because obviously I'm not using milk, it just makes it a bit creamier. And then just to sweeten it up, I'm actually going to use my toffee, my protein flavour drops. Everyone knows I literally carry the vanilla one round with me to put in my coffees. I cannot recommend these enough. You only need a small amount, but if you have a bit of a sweet tooth or like your coffees or anything being sweet, invest. They last so long. I can't recommend them enough. <laughs> so I blend it for a minute because these just kind of have a timer with the blenders that they stop at a minute. So I just leave it for that long. Oh, okay, that is good if I do say so myself. I just called my sister on FaceTime. I've just been looking at some emails about my uni, printing off some paperwork, sorting like rent and stuff like that. I also obviously showered, washed my hair. I have fake tan on at the moment, hence why I'm sitting in my dressing gown. Um, because I personally, I just prefer to do it in the day if I have the time. Then doing it at night because it's just a faff on my bed sheets. And obviously seeing me in the bed with Tom, I always end up getting it on him. So I would just rather do it in the day. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you what I um, actually use when I fake tan. So I literally get out of the shower and I don't put anything on because I just find that what is best on my body. I have bad eczema, as you probably know. 
um, around here, this area. Um, I would show you, but I don't want to accidentally show you like my boobs or anything. Um, but yeah, I have quite good, but quite good. I have quite bad eczema, so I have to be careful what I use. I should put you back there. That's pretty bad. So yeah, like I said, I have quite bad eczema, so I have to be careful what I use on my skin. So. I use the Tropic um, Fake Tan, it, you can use it overnight, I think you're supposed to use it overnight, but I find just a few hours gives me a really nice glow, it's really natural, like I say I'm really pale, I literally said, how many times can you say this Ashton, you said this like a hundred times, but yeah so I don't want it to look like I'm trying too hard, um, but I just find this is really good for sensitive skin, it is, um, very smooth it goes on it doesn't dry very quickly like a lot of people really like the Bondé Sands Aero one which I did buy but I found it dry dried too quickly that I couldn't blend it and it was all patchy whereas this is um, a lot smoother so it blends really quickly you might find it does get on things but I personally prefer it but it's just really good and I use Tropic all the time because like I said in my assumptions video my mum does work for her and I am her biggest critic I always tell her if I don't like something or anything, but I generally love this and use this all the time. It is really good. Um, then, more Tropic. <laughs> um, I normally use a moisturiser, which is in like the ABC kit they do, which probably means nothing to you if you don't know Tropic makeup. Um, but I couldn't find it, so I stole my mum's SPF Sunday. It's like a primer, which I also use, which is really great. And I mix it with one drop of the Tropic Sun Drops, which is amazing. And basically, it's to go on my face just to give me a bit of colour. So it's a bit like a fake tan, it takes a few hours to kind of adjust, but I just find it gives me a bit of a glow. Doesn't look patchy. At the moment, I look quite shiny because obviously I've just got a shower and yeah. But um, I just find it works really well. I like it a lot. I'm not sure how much this stuff is because I kind of get it from my mum as like birthday presents and stuff like that, I ask. But yeah, it's just, it's really good. All natural, natural, all natural. Um, my mum also does have a Tropic page on Instagram. So I will put like a photo or her at, you know, account name to show you so yeah sorry I'm just gonna hold you now because there are so many times I have had to catch my camera because it keeps slipping because I did put you on this which is slow so that was kind of my fault it was stupid that was my fault um but yeah excuse my nails I've just taken off my nail varnish and I can never get it all off that I've still got like a bit of purple I'm gonna repaint those um and yeah probably have lunch now because i'm actually starting to get hungry again so yeah lunch is saved okay so i've just been like sorting through all my cups and glasses that i have in the kitchen that you know like you're just yours that you just put because it's like your family home so you just put in the cupboards and i was basically trying to sort through everything that's like actually mine and i did not realize i had this much like all of these glasses like mugs i do love my mugs i love collecting them and like all these like basin jars like i've got a lot so i'm sort of uni but i need to sort of through this and like sort what just to get rid of and what i'm gonna take because i can't take all of this So I've just sorted my cups. These are the ones I want to keep. I think I am going to take these all to uni. I know it seems excessive, but I've already said to my roommates that like I've got a load of mugs and cups, so they don't need to bring loads. So I'm just going to bring them so like people can use them. Because you know I may as well. And like I said, I like to collect mugs and these are just cute, you know? So I'm going to take those. Sorry if it sounds a bit weird, it's because my um, dad's outside building something um but yeah these I'm gonna get rid of this stuff I just don't want it and then these are ones that I want to keep but I don't want to take with me like because I got this from New York when I saw Chicago and these are Christmas ones Tom got me this one I got myself this one 
um, that I want to keep, but I'll be back for Christmas, so they may as well leave them here. And to be fair, I'm actually getting better at editing. Not necessarily that the quality is better, I'm just getting quicker at it. Um, but this is like the best you're going to get from me today. I can't bother to put makeup on or anything because there's just no point. But um, I just wanted to jump on here because I completely forgot to say that yesterday my lovely friend Maddie dropped around um, a bralette I ordered off of her. Um, if you haven't checked her Instagram yet, please check it out. This is her name and she also has tiktok and depop but she's basically making handmade bralettes in all these gorgeous materials that are all like she gets them from fabric shops that they're about to throw out so she's reusing um materials that would be thrown away so there's literally no way it's not fast fashion she's making them and they are such good quality but i ordered one off of her and i was so excited for it to turn up she also gives you these nice um, bags to look after them, which I thought was really cute at like no extra cost. And she, oh, how am I gonna show this? I'm really sorry also the lighting's really yellow, it's just because it's in the evening. Um, but this is really hard to show. But I got a bralette in this pattern. You send her all your um, measurements, all the details, so it's handmade to fit you perfectly and I absolutely love it. I did make a TikTok wearing this bralette in it, but it's really good quality. I don't know if you can see that it's quite thick, which is nice, and it basically has, so you tie it at the top, and on the back, it's really hard to show when I'm not wearing it, um, it's got ribbons, and you basically adjust it to how tight you want it. But it's just so gorgeous and I love oriental prints. I just think they're so pretty and look very elegant and expensive. But oh money don't knock the tripod. <laughs> but yeah, it's just so lovely and such good quality. Like my parents, both my parents were so overwhelmed. Oh, I also realised she also threw in a scrunchie for me because she's just adorable that matches it as well which is also really good quality like it's really um stretchy and thick and I love it which is great for me because I have really thick hair so yeah please go um go give her a follow go see what she's got like all you've got to do is go have a look I'm not saying you have to buy anything but she's one of my really good friends she works really hard and they're honestly really good quality so if you could go check it out I'd really appreciate it and I'm sure she would too but yeah thank you Maddie so much for my bralette I love it <laughs> you brought me fruit and nutmeg make your own <gasps> thank you thank you and also you've got a cute haircut show them your haircut look at you can I touch the back of your head? No, hold on. <laughs> oh, he left me. Bye, Tom. Can any other girl relate to this? Is the best thing when your boyfriend gets the haircut. <laughs> me just like <laughs> touching up your hair. Calm down. Scruffy. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here. I forgot to film dinner, I had carbonara and I had a banana and I'm probably gonna have some fruit and nut mix. So yeah, that was my day. I know it was so interesting, <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you soon for another video at some point. Bye.